Well, she was a fixture, but a longtime protester outside of the White House got kicked out of her spot today. She's held that spot for 30 years. So why did Park Police decide today was the day for her to move? Chris Van Cleve explains. Their sign is much smaller this afternoon as the 32 year old peace vigil and nuclear weapon protest across from the White House is largely gone. The vigil site was left unattended overnight and park police removed the tent and protest signs that have become landmarks in their own right. What do you think when you look over there and it's gone? It's empty. It's empty. We need it. Everything is here. 77 year old Concepcion Pichotto has manned the vigil day in and day out since Reagan was president. She left her spot around 10 last night to rest. A volunteer left a few hours later. While her vigil does not require a permit, federal law says it must be continually attended. In a statement, the Park Service says a park police officer interviewed two people as they left the scene, adding, with no one attending the site, the officer collected the materials and placed them in a U.S. Park Police storage facility for safekeeping. They don't like a protester. They don't like people to tell the truth. Well, it's, it's certainly disappointing. Um, uh, within minutes, somebody was out here, so I think it was a bit overkill. Still, the vigil continued today as supporters picked up the seized materials, pledging to rebuild it and continue a call for peace that dates back to 1981. And we're still here. We haven't gone anywhere. As you can see, the rebuilding didn't take very long. Things are back to the way they were out here in front of the White House. The group of demonstrators are thanking Eleanor Holmes Norton for her help. She apparently reached out to the park police to help speed along the process of getting these items returned. Outside the White House, Chris Van Cleve, ABC 7 News.